So last week we did seamless textures, okay? Basically in video game, in 2D especially, all right, but it's good for 3D too, actually, very good. The pipeline will go like that. You create seamless textures that you need. Then you bring those seamless texture, you use them to create tiles, seamless tiles. All right. After you're done with that, you basically put on your tiles, but it's pretty redundant. You know, it's the same thing over and over and over, and it kind of shows that it's been tiled, right? So then we create something called decals. We create decals that we apply to the seamless textures to create refinement and customization of a level, try to hide the repetition of tiles. Doesn't get much deeper than that. Those decals are nothing less but than a sticker. Okay, those are stickers, basically. You guys. And we'll see in the second part of the class how we do that uh, today. But we're going to start by creating one tile. We don't have time to do, we don't have time, sorry, we don't have time. We don't have time to do more than one tile today uh, because of what we need to do for our class. But that should be enough to understand the principle. So, can someone repeat me a couple of the very important uh, particularity uh, constraints of game engines for tiles? What do they need to be? Powers of two. All right. That's good, you guys. They need to be a power of two. Like that, for 2D engine, like that, you can tile them properly. All right, you guys? You put one, two, three, and they snap perfectly because it's a grid. Okay, it's an X, Y grid, basically. So it'll snap perfectly. That's the main reason for 2D games. So 3D games, the reason you would do a power of two is because of the graphic cards, okay? It, it, it has to basically uh, render it on the fly. It's a real-time rendering, basically, visualization using DirectX or PLJL. So it requires to have that because the actual map works like that, okay? So to create a good map, besides the technical points right there that we talked about, you guys, to create a good map, a good tile, you guys, they need to be seamless, first of all, just like the texture. So you can put them wherever you want, whenever you want. So same technique, okay? That's one thing. Uh, second thing, to make some uh, good tiles, you guys, that looks good, you need a lot of layers, okay? Layering is the key to your really high quality textures. Doesn't get deeper than that. The more layer you have, the more depth you have in your texture, the better looking it looks. Ah, that's all right, translucency and stuff like that. All right, uh, transparency, mixing the blending mode and stuff. All those things basically recreate uh, detail that the brain appreciate quite a bit and think, wow, this is pretty cool. All right, and not flat. So we need to approach our texture the same way that it is built in the real world, pretty much, okay? So let's say we are going to make one tile for today. We'll make it pretty big so we can see it. 512 pixels, obviously, by 512 pixels. All right, you guys. And we're going to make it a straight road that we can tile over and over. OK? So right there, like that, we will have some grass right here. Okay. And some road right there, some trail, whatever, right there. Okay, you guys? Okay. Now, let's look at that. Let's say instead of looking at it from the top view, because that's going to be for the top view, let's move it like that, like, like the same way we cut a piece of grass for golf courts. You know what I'm saying? You see those things that you can roll out and stuff like that for golf courts, you guys? Let's think about that, and let's look how those things are built in, okay? The first thing you have is what? You have the ground a little bit, okay? You have some dirt and stuff, right? So, from the side like that, we would have dirt right there, okay? That would be one piece of our tile, okay? Of our texture. Then after that, we have the grass, okay? Is the grass the same inside the ground, out at the beginning or at the end? Is it the same color? No, right? So, it's most likely, I'll make it big in purpose, okay, guys? Very green right here, all right? 
turning into maybe brownish and whitish for the root. Okay, I made them bigger so you can see it. All right, and, and probably just brownish inside it or whitish the same way. Okay, you guys, that's super important. We have that. So we need to reproduce at least three things. The green of the grass, the roots of the grass, the ground. Okay? To do that, we are going to use only, we're going to use two maps for now. Okay, you guys? So let's go on the net. I'm going to go on the internet, and I'm going to actually grab quickly two files. And one is going to be grass, like we did last time. We did sand last time, sorry, that's true. Well, grass works too. Yeah, grass works too. See, my example is there, right here. See, that's what we're trying to reproduce. See, the dirt, then the root, then the grass, basically. We're trying to reproduce that. So, one thing also, I want my tile to be orthographic, top view, all right? Flat, top view. Uh, that might work, that one right here. Yeah, that would work. It's a little bit of problems in the area of uh, lighting, but we can fix that really quickly. That would be a good time to review our stuff. And I'm going to find some ground, some mud. The same way I did that. Oh, I like that too, actually. Oh, that's 512 by 512. I like that, man. That could be useful. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You got it. So where are you what? So let me get more ground stuff. Autographic view, obviously. Try to get similar scale. That's why also I like to take my picture myself. If you take your picture yourself, you'll know the scale. Because you're the one taking the picture, the distance from the object. So you can keep a consistent scale. Going on the internet like that is scary. You don't know what you're going to get. Let me go somewhere else. I don't get it here, like here. Maybe I'll put dry mud. That should work better. Why do I get all those junky pictures? It's too dry. Yeah. Not autographic enough. Just put mud. Come on. There you go. That's some real mud. Save the picture. Not that one. Let me steal it. Oh, let me adjust that quickly.
Alright, let's crop properly right here. Let's see the size of that. 